to my channel. My name is Laura. Today is Saturday, so I'm doing Saturday WW check-in. So, but first I have to send Daisy to the groomer. So let's say hello to Daisy. Little Daisy, she is going for a haircut today. Look at her hair. So cute. Say hello, Daisy. Daisy girl. Hi, baby. Come here. Daisy's gonna go for a haircut. So that's what she looks like now. Hi Daisy, you scared? Daisy's scared she's going to get a haircut. But she's all strapped in and ready to go to get her haircut. She's gonna look like a different dog. Yes, you're gonna be so pretty. Okay. So this is what she looks like now before the haircut. Okay, I'm back. I also want to share with you what videos are coming out this week. So here we go. I will share that now. So I just took a Benadryl. I woke up with a swollen eye and a swollen lip. So the only thing that I ate differently was this which is Cheez-It snack mix and the ingredients does not have sesame seeds in it but however it do, does say it, it contains wheat, milk, and soy. Ingredients may contain peanuts. So I just took a Benadryl. I'm gonna go really quickly and share what videos are already recorded that are will be posting this week. So yeah, I just want to get this in. So Sunday the 5th, I have a 2020 junk journal set up. Monday the 6th, I have a commonplace journal book number four that I completed. Tuesday the 7th, I have 2020 everyday carry set up. Wednesday the 8th, I have close to my heart unboxing. Thursday the 9th, a 12 new releases anticipated. And Friday the 10th, I have December Daily, week number four, the flip through from December 23rd to December 31st. They are already recorded and all already scheduled to go up. So hopefully uh, this will go down uh, by the next video that you see. So I'm back from my meeting. I'm up 1.4. I'm 1.4 away from paying again. I did get my lifetime membership code, but I need to get back on track because I that's very close to, it's so scary because 1.4 is like, oh my God, that's horrible. But anyway, um, I need to get back on track and have a cushion because I don't like being so close to paying again. So anyway, um my benadryl doesn't seem to be working my eye is starting to swell up now uh and my lip so i have my eye and my lip so i have no idea what i'm allergic to but here i am i am going to share uh what i'm currently reading because i started some new books in january and i'm going to share those books so the first book that I am reading is called The Passengers by John Mars. This is a science fiction type book. Um, it's about, uh, it takes place in London and they have no cars. They have only automatic cars where they drive themselves. And apparently someone takes over their cars and they tell them in the car that they are not going to live and this is their last ride. So it's pretty interesting. However, it's very confusing because there are eight different people that we are tracking in here. I I think I listened, to, I read about five of them already. Uh, so it, every chapter is a new person. So you like start over again because uh, you have to learn all the different characters. But I am enjoying uh, the read though. So I am on page, I'm on chapter seven. So that is page trying to look at the book here do this with one hand very hard I'm on page 41 so I'm really enjoying it's fast-paced uh, yeah it's just that there's eight different people that we're gonna learn about and I guess they could maybe team up at the end I don't know but it's really really good so that's the first book the second book that I am reading is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn this was picked for my 50-50 uh, 
read and I did start it. I, I am not very far, but I did read 28 pages of it. Um, I read very sporadically. Um, I sit down, I read for 15 minutes, then I read for 30 minutes at lunchtime, then I, at nighttime I read. But what happens at nighttime is when I pick up the book, the book puts me out and puts me to sleep. So I'm um, having a really hard time focusing, but I'm trying to read at least 15 minutes in this book uh, to uh, read along. So that's that one. And the third book that I am reading, I started The Lux. Uh, this was also um, one of my... Um, books that I haven't read in a while, so um, I want to try to read this one. I'm really enjoying this one. It's a historical fiction. Um, I didn't read much. I think I read one chapter. Let's see. Uh, yes, I read one chapter. I'm on chapter two, which is 23 pages, so I'm going to read more of this. Um, and I am reading this one. This is my favorite author, so I've been reading this one, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm reading very slowly, though, but I am reading this. I am on chapter uh, three, I think, and it's page 34, so I didn't read much of it. Um, it does start um, in the past, and then it goes into the present, so it's like 15 minute, 15 year gap. Uh, in between the two books uh, so it did get a little confusing but um, um, I heard a lot of people loved it and that it is about a mom and a daughter but I haven't I haven't gotten to that yet so yeah so I'm hoping that I enjoy it as much as everybody else does she is my favorite author it's just that I've been in a reading slump it's so bad that nothing like keeps my attention but I plan to read that for January and I picked up an audiobook I picked up an, a non-fiction book um, I'm not sure I'm liking it so the book that I picked up from the library is called I can't make this up by Kevin Hart life lessons by Kevin Hart um, I'm listening to this um, my thoughts of this I'm enjoying it but not enjoying it so I don't like when people curse and he curses a lot in here and I cannot listen to this with the kids in the car because he does inappropriate things and talks about inappropriate things so yes but I'm listening to it while I'm not with the kids so We'll see if I continue re listening to this. So that's my audiobook. Um, I do have a book on my Kindle that I started, but I don't really remember the name of it. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, and I think that's it for my reading. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to track my reading. Um, I did get a Hobonichi Weekly. Where is it? Let's see if I have it with me. I have my Everyday Carry and I have my Hobonichi weekly thing that I made and I'm gonna share it, share it with you. Give me a second. Okay, this is my A6 Hobonichi reading journal. I got this uh, for just my reading and this is the book that I'm using. So it has I did this with one hand it's very hard but it is set up by a week and here is my week it says um it starts with i think sunday monday to sunday so yes this is week one and here are the books that i'm reading so i started uh, my 50 50 tree grows in brooklyn on the 26th and then I st also started Library of Souls. I don't have it with me. I started that on January 1st because book five is coming out. I do have that at home. I'm also reading The Comfort and Joy that I Never Finished by Kristen Hanna. So I read three times on that day. And then I started to do a tracker here uh, for passengers. Now, um, this first one is a tracker with 25 pages per day. And every time I finish 25 pages, I um, black it out. 
this second tracker underneath is every chapter that I read. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do the chapters or the 25 pages. Um, I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe I should write the page number down as I read it. Like on day, today is day three. So if I go to day three and I go across, if I read anything on that day in that book, I should like right here, the page number or something like that. I don't know how I'm going to keep this up. So, yes, I'm trying my hardest to still use this thing, but I'm not sure how it's going to work. So that's my ideas here. So I'm hoping that something will click and something will make me stick with it. So that's my problem. So as keeping track of my reading, I need to learn something that's quick and easy um, to calculate. I don't know if I'm going to keep up with this kind of tracking. Um, as I said, I probably just need to write the page number down because I do jump from book to book. And some days I don't read anything in that book. So, yes. Yeah, so I need to try to figure out a way how to keep track of my reading. Um, yes. Yeah, so... Anyway, have a great week. Um, I will actually, I will come back and share Daisy with you, what she looks like. This is Daisy after a haircut. Hi, Daisy. I can see you now. You look so pretty. Look at those big eyes. Hello. Say hello. She got a puppy cut, so her, this is a little longer she got a puppy cut so she looks so much better than what she did look before thank you for watching and i will see you in another video bye